What's up with it Raider Nation? It's your boy Raider Honcho and I'm back with a brand new video for you. Alright guys, get right into it. You already know the vibes, you already know what type of time I'm on. If you're not a subscriber to the channel, well, damn, subscribe to the channel. Also, hit me up on Instagram and Twitter, both at Raider Honcho, and don't forget to hit the likes. Now, yesterday, Devontae Adams and Derek Carr had a press conference, and obviously I tuned in because I'm trying to hear everything with everybody's saying, especially when you're talking about they had a players-only meeting, you know, you had behind-closed-doors meeting with, with the owner and head coach. So now I'm trying to listen to what everybody's saying, and I'm trying to read in between the lines. Now, I'm not trying to make a bunch of something about a bunch of nothing, but I am trying to listen to the tones and listen to the manner in which these people are speaking so I can get a kind of idea of what's really going on behind the scenes. Now, and when you talk about Devontae Adams, Devontae Adams yesterday was talking a lot about you know, people uh, making remarks about Derek Carr, missing him a lot, Derek Carr ignoring him, Derek Carr intentionally not throwing him the ball. And it sounds like Devontae Adams, although he's admitting that him and Derek Carr are good players and that they do have a relationship, that it is going to take a little time to get on the same page because Devontae Adams is saying he's the only receiver that's getting covered the way he's getting covered in the NFL and that it's up to the coaches to kind of schematically find a way to get him the ball. Now, he also goes on to say that even though him and Derek Carr do have a friendship and have known each other for a long, time that they have not had the chemistry professionally that him and Aaron Rodgers has and he even said that Aaron Rodgers and him had to almost like uh, accumulatively get better like it, it was in stages it wasn't one after another uh, it, it didn't just happen right away they didn't just go from zero to a hundred after the first play and he's saying over here with Las Vegas it's like well the first game you saw me get 17 targets so it was like right away people have that expectation of I'm going to get the ball this many times I'm going to get the ball that many times and Derek Carr is always going to look for me and target me almost 20 times a game but he's saying that in reality right not every team is going to give you the same look even though they might be in the same uh, family of coverages meaning they might bracket them every game but the way the titans did it might have been different than the way the cardinals did it the way the cardinals did it might have been different the way the chargers was doing it so it really sounds like that outside of their individual talents that it's going to take more of a game plan to get them in the right looks to be able to get him the ball because at the end of the day Derek Carr said it himself he's going to trust Josh's opinion he's going to trust where Josh wants him to go with the ball and and honestly what that means to me is if Josh McDaniels is saying Derek Carr we're going to run this play this is who should be open that's who Derek Carr is going to think the play should go to whether it has Devontae involved or not so I think it's up to the coaches to kind of get Devontae more involved than it is on Derek Carr because at the end of the day if Derek Carr is telling you I'm listening to where Josh is telling me to throw the ball then it's up to Josh to tell him where to throw the ball correctly now I don't agree with that I think that they should take the training wheels off because it is his ninth year in the league he is a star quarterback he is a franchise quarterback he has the talent to get the job done I think you take the training wheels off you take the handcuffs off and you let the boy go out there and just play football and I think you'll see something more like an Aaron Rodgers to Devontae Adams where even when he's not 100% open you still throw him the ball, right? As a quarterback, a former quarterback, somebody who plays defensive back, somebody who coaches defense. Look, if the defender's head is turned, you got to throw the ball to the receiver. But if he's not looking at you, you see the back of his numbers, you got to throw the ball there. He's open. All right? And I think Derek Carr is trying too hard to get the ball to the player Josh McDaniels wants the ball to go to, and he's neglecting to just throw the ball to the playmakers. Give the guys a chance to make a play. So I just thought it was interesting to hear Devontae Adams talk like that because... He's pretty much saying it's going to take time for it to look the way you think it should look, even though the first game we saw what it would look like. It's not going to look like that every game is what he was saying. So I just thought those were interesting comments, and um, I want you guys to get down in the, in, the, in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Do you think that we have the time? to wait for it to grow and and, and um, mature into the type of one-two punch that we thought it was going to be, especially after week one? Or do you guys say, look, F it. We need to get this done now. And if Derek Carr's not going to be able to get it done, then bring somebody in who can trade him, wave him, do whatever you want to do. Bring somebody else in who's just going to throw the ball to Devontae Adams. Let me know in the comment section because, to me, I feel like, it's a slippery slope. You know it's going to take gradual time to get on the same page. But the Raiders don't have that kind of luxury to wait and wait and wait. Especially when you're 0-3, you need to get it done now. And the Raiders have to figure it out whether it's in practice or whether it's in pregame, whether it's in films. They got to find a way to get Derek Carr on the same page with not just Devontae Adams. 
I'm with Josh McDaniels. Because it sounds like this this relationship is off to a rocky start with, with, with the idea of Derek Carr wanting to be a coach pleaser and wanting to just do everything the coach is saying. Like, that just doesn't really work. Derek Carr is on the field. Josh McDaniels is on the sideline. He doesn't have a front row seat to what the defense is actually giving him, the looks he's getting, the movements pre-snap. Derek Carr has to see that. Derek Carr has to be in charge of that. Derek Carr has to step up. And Derek Carr has to play better in order to give us a chance to win. And that's just the bottom line. Get down in the comments. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, if you like the video, like the video. If you like the content on this channel, you should really subscribe to the channel because I'm bringing this shit all year, man. All year, man. All right, so hit me up on Instagram and Twitter, both at Raider Honcho. And until the next time, as always, Raider Honcho out.